Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 17 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to set custom metadata using copy activity in ADF pipeline. So let's move ahead. So when our sync is a blob storage or an ADLS that is Azure Data Lake storage. Okay. When the sync is one of these two uh, data stores, then in the sync settings, we have an option called metadata. Okay. So in this metadata option, we can specify some custom metadata fields as you can see here. Okay. So uh, let's directly jump into ADF pipeline and let's see uh, how to use this option. Okay. So let me go to ADF pipeline and let me create a new pipeline and let me drag copy activity in the pipeline canvas and here in the source data set let's try to create a data set pointing to ADLS Gen 2 you can choose any of the file formats but in my case I am going to point the data set to uh, say this file okay file1.csv which is present in ABC container okay so for now let me go ahead with binary as the uh, source file format and let me select the existing link service and let me navigate to uh, the source file that is file1.csv and let me click on ok and in the sync settings let me create another data set let me navigate to ADLS Gen2 again and let me select binary format itself and let me select the existing link service and this time I am going to point the sync data set to ABC output container so currently I do not have any file in the output container it will create the output file on the fly after completion of this copy activity okay so in the output container as you can see I do not have any file present here okay and here you can see we have metadata option which is used to set custom metadata when we are copying to sync okay and here you can create multiple metadata fields and the available values are last modified which will be helpful to store the source files last modified time so let me select last modified value for the first uh, metadata field and let me give the name of this key as last modified date time okay okay so now let's create another metadata field and this time let's select the other option which is custom so using custom you can create some static value in the metadata field okay so as you can see once I selected custom it is giving another field to me uh, so here I can give some uh, key name and value name here okay so suppose I'm going to have something called format okay so format of the source file so here let me give dot csv as the format since our file format is csv right as I, I have already showed you uh, the file format is csv so you can give any of the custom custom metadata value while copying to the sync okay let me track this now similarly we can add other fields using this add dynamic content so once you click on this it gives numerous options to select from system variables functions and variables and parameters okay so so let's try to add few properties from the system variables so I'm going to have data factory name as one of the fields so let me give ADF name similarly we can have other values for example I want to know when the pipeline got triggered so we can use pipeline trigger time here and let's give the uh, name of this key as pipeline trigger time and let me add pipeline name as well so here from the same system variables I'm going to have pipeline trigger name okay so let me give pipeline name as the key name and we are good to run the pipeline so let me hit on debug and let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed so the execution is in progress yeah so the pipeline execution is completed let's go to the output container and let's see if the file1.csv got generated yeah you can see file1.csv got copied so let's check the content basically there is no change in the content if we compare it from the source uh, file let's check the source file 
so you can see the content is all same but where can we see the metadata properties which we just added in the pipeline is in the overview page itself if we scroll down we have something called metadata and by default it is blank but since we have added the metadata field in the copy activity in sync properties so it is giving all these properties as the key value pair okay so as you can see ADF name is coming as Anu ADF which is dynamically fetched from the ADF uh, workspace okay so you can see and validate that the uh, ADF name is correct it is coming as Anu ADF and then this field that is format it was given by us as the custom field as in hard coded value so it is coming as it is okay and then pipeline name is coming as sandbox okay it might be because I have not published the pipeline so it is coming as a uh, default name that is sandbox okay and then pipeline trigger time is the current time and last modified date time is actually the last modified date time of the source file not this file okay if we see uh, the last modified of this file you can see it is 15th March 10 32 a.m. but if you see last modified date time coming from the source is 9th March 1208 uh, and if we compare it from the source file you can see 9th March and this is the IST time if I convert it to UTC let me convert it IST to UTC so let's paste it here okay and you can see uh, 5 38 p.m. is converted to 12 0 8 p.m. which is exactly the time as coming as uh, last modified date time from the source okay so you can see 12.08 of 9th March. Okay, so this is the uh, time from the source file. Okay, so we can add all these properties in the metadata by using custom metadata fields in copy activity in sync settings. Okay, so let's go back to the presentation. So let's move ahead. So as we have learned, we can set custom metadata when copying to sync when your sync is uh, blob storage or ADLS. Okay. And each object under metadata array represents an extra column. As we have seen, it creates each of the objects as an extra column or as an extra key value pair in the metadata field. Okay. So the name defines the metadata key name and the value indicates the data value of that key. And the allowed data values are last modified which holds the last modified date time of the source file and similarly we can give static value using the custom field and we can also give expression using add dynamic content and where does all these metadata properties get stored is in the sync file in the overview page we have metadata field in the bottom where it holds all the properties that that we have set in the sync settings okay so that's it for this video guys. I hope you like the content. Please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.